with that being said, once again, thank you for coming out to this most prestigious, historic, and literally groundbreaking event as we celebrate a moment that has been a long time coming. So over 50 years ago, just some background, on August 17, 1968, Billboard magazine announced that Bill Cosby would be heading up an R&B Hall of Fame group. Of course, this never materialized, and this was actually on the heels of the Country Music Hall of Fame first opening in April of 1967 in a modest barn-like structure in Nashville, Tennessee. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation was established in April of 1983, and the structure that we see in Cleveland was first erected in 1995. Which brings us to today, September 30th, the year 2022, where we celebrate a genre of music which not only birthed rock music, but hip hop, disco, funk, and so many other subgenres of music, even new ones like K pop that's going on today, and so forth and so on. We're talking about R&B or rhythm and blues music. Now, as we stand here on these hollowed grounds in the Mississippi Delta, the home of the blues, which along with gospel, birthed every form of American popular music, we can't help but remember those artists that paved the way with their blood, sweat, and tears. As they may not have gotten the recognition that they deserve, but they certainly did not get rich off of their talents. We're talking about the old time bluesmen, the chitlin circuit performers, those small time musicians hustling from gig to gig, the backing musicians, the side men, the side women, the disc jockeys, the promoters, the behind the scenes people, and of course, a category that we are all a part of, the fans of R&B music. So at this time, I would like to ask, is there anybody in the audience that include themselves in the category of entertainers or people that have been inducted in the past by the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. If you could please stand up so we can recognize you at this time. And uh, let's give these people a round of applause. Without them, we wouldn't be here today. Now, I don't want to be too long-winded because you'll be hearing from a wide variety of people today from all walks of life, different functions, some who, like we said, are the very pioneers that we're speaking about. Uh, they can provide that first-hand knowledge of their time on the chitlin circuit and facing the racism and other adverse conditions, but still being here with us today to celebrate the start of an institution that will not only honor and preserve their legacy, but most important of all, it will tell the whole truth about R&B, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So with that being said, let's go ahead and welcome Mayor Joe Shigar of Marks, Mississippi. And before we do that, we'd like to give you an award. Where's the mayor? <laughs> 